Yo guys, what's going on? It's Savage here and today I'm coming at you with another Madden 17 tip video. Very, very appreciative to how good my tip videos are doing on YouTube. They're some of my most viewed videos. I really do appreciate that. I also do have a gameplay coming out tonight. So if you guys want mine watching that when it comes out, I debut a new legend and a new quarterback for the squad. It's awesome. It's a great video. Funny gameplay. I yell a lot. And if we could get this video to 50 likes tomorrow, I'll release another mini scheme for either offense or defense, whatever is most requested in the comments below. But here we go, guys. Coming at you with a very, very simple, easy defense. One of the best defenses in the game against most basic formations. I know a lot of people are not in the top tier Madden category of play, meaning you're not playing against top 100 people like me. I have literally only played against top 100 people since the game has come out. Um, I'm actually fifth in the world on PS4 currently, so I've been playing against some pretty good guys This is for you guys. This is a basic defense that you can run against your everyday opponents um, You can use it against your friends. They'll be confused They'll get really really mad because it's one of the best coverages in the game It's in the Buffalo Bills defense and I'm going to be coming out in the nickel 245 And the defense that we are going to be in is cover 3 Mabel cover 3 Mabel as you can see has a lot of variety of zones to offer you And we are going to call that and we are going to be running it against one of the most common use offensive formations the split close in the Pittsburgh Steelers offense and we're going to be going up against three plays two pass plays and one run play and how to pretty much kill your opponent and destroy them and any sort of chance they thought they had yes that is why I'm a savage I like to make my opponent cry but here we go guys first thing you're going to want to do before the, you even make a pre-play adjustment you want to look at the field you see it's a bunch formation now this defense is very effective against bunch formations and against every formation, but is sp but specifically bunch formations, which is some of the common, those, those are the most popular formations. When you see a tight formation near the um, offensive line, near the line of scrimmage, they're not that far away. A normal offense normally that's not a tight formation is usually something like this. You see how far everybody is? They're all spread out. The only person that's closest to the um, offensive line is the tight end. But when it's a bunch formation like this, this is a flawed concept. A red flag should go up in your head. Okay, it's a flawed concept. They're going to be running they're, they're going to be running a play that is to the heavy side of the ball. The heavy side of the ball is clearly the right side. There's three pass catchers on that side. You have to then take account for the receivers on the side of the ball. There is a tight end in the flat, so there's no way this tight end is running any different route than, an, than a swing route to the right. So a low route that's under the line of scrimmage. That is all. So as soon as you see that, you immediately need to be like, all right, do I have anybody on that side of the field in a hard flat? And the answer is yes. Say you didn't. Say um, say that this. Oh, say that the that TJ Carey wasn't in a hard flat. Say he was in a in a in a hook curl like this. That route's going to be wide open, and they will be able to rat catch that for about 10 yards, which is a first down. So that's going to kill you. So if that's the case, let's just say that that he is in a hook curl. You can do this thing called quick adjusting, which not many people know. Rather than switching all the way over here, moving this player and making your opponent realize, okay, he's doing something on that side of the ball, you can actually go to, this is who you're going to use her on this play, your, your middle linebacker. You can actually go and double click triangle to pull up all of your defensive backs. So if you want to see your defensive backs on Xbox One, you double tap Y. On PS4, you double tap triangle. Since TJ Carey is in a hook curl right now, I don't want him in a hook curl, so I look at his name on the list. It's L1, so I would click L1, and I would put him in a flat zone, so I would flip my left stick to the left. That is called a quick adjust right there. Bang, now he's in a hook, he's in a curl flat. So, I mean a hard flat. So rather than moving all the way over here and, and audible in him like this and and pretty much moving him around, showing your opponent, okay, he's doing something, I could just go like this and now he's in a hard flat just like that without even moving my middle linebacker, which is my user. But let's just say now, okay, you have a, now, now the other routes you have to worry about is probably a seam route up the gut and then either a post route or a C route where, you're, where your opponent's gonna run a route like that. So. You have, a, you have a linebacker covering the receiver up there. Let's say you want to switch that around. You can quick adjust to your linebackers by double clicking RT or R1. Click the assigned, click the current linebacker that's in that hook curl, put him in the hard flat, and then just switch your, your D back that's in the hard flat up to a high flat. Just like that. So now when you hike the ball, you're going to see the zones play accordingly and you're going to be using from the left side, from the weak side of the strong formation to the heavy side of the strong formation. 
Watch what happens. Ball is hiked. You see them break into their zones. The only route that was open right there that whole entire time was triangle. That's a five yard check down. I'm going to show you what I mean. This is all, this is just all money right here. One of the best plays you can call. Hike the ball. Everybody's breaking into their zones. He's in the high. Malcolm Smith just realized, okay, I got somebody in the flats right there. Reggie Nelson is helping you on Antonio Brown. You're then going to cut with Antonio Brown to the post. He's already getting ready for the C route. As you can see, TJ Carey is all the way over here. That route is going to break into his zone. So you see him breaking into the zone. That flat's covered. The only route that's open right now is D'Angelo Williams. Every other route is covered. Every route is covered with perfection. And all you have to do at the last second of that post route is cut back to the check down. Because as soon as you see that check down, red flag goes up. That's the only route he has open. Another cons. See, yeah, your boy. Yeah, I know you're all probably like. It worked. It's kind. It's, it's really a simple thing. It's a very simple mechanic. But another very common play that is called out of split close is halfback wheel. This is actually a seam beater. This is what the normal setup looks like. It looks like this. What people do is put circle on a, on, a, on a streak because the reason they're doing that is to take the cornerback on the right side and that strong safety up, leaving the post route get wide open. This is how you stop it. You're going to then, if you're playing an opponent and your opponent's going to beat you, you're going to want to put this. You're, if he's spamming at back wheel, put your free safety that's in this seam flat up here into a hard flat because what he's going to do is is he's going to actually run down past antonio brown mirroring antonio brown and then playing d'angelo williams to the point where he then streaks out of the wheel in reality that your your um safety over here is going to then play d'angelo williams you always want to base the line by the way guys if i don't say that just always remember base the line that's the first thing you got to do then another thing that you are going to then realize is since that's going to be a post route you're once again having malcolm smith have to play the receiver you don't want that so like i said you're going to want a quick adjust put him in the flat and then you're going to want a quick, quick adjust to your um cornerback and put him in the high flat so then when the ball is hiked your only concern is right there is that square post route i'm going to show you it one more time in the instant replay i'm going to show you how there's absolutely no reads on the play Reggie Nelson, as the ball's hiked, Reggie Nelson breaks down to the flats. Malcolm Smith broke down to the flats right there. TJ Carey's playing that post route beautifully. You have the post, you have that high post route locked up, and the deep ball is now nowhere to be found. Again, right to the quarterback. Every route is locked up beautifully out of this defense. And now, if there's also a very good run play called halfback power out in this formation, you're just going to base a line and then crash your D line to the strong side. The strong side is the heavier side with the most people on it. When the ball is hiked, all the all of the um, linemen. Instead, the lineman's job, when it's just a straight on thing, is to push and allow you to get up through the gap. If you're then crashing to the right, the lineman cannot push straight. They have to go like this, creating holes. They create holes in the gaps. So when, when you baseline and crash, you are now telling your D-line, okay, you are going to pull the O-line so our linebackers can crash, through the can crash through the gaps. So, oh, I actually just called the pass play, my bad. Um, I'm going to show you what I mean now. So when it's the run play, you're going to base a line crash to the right. And that's pretty much saying, all right, D-line, force them so our linebackers can get right through the gaps and clog up the run. I'm going to show you that one more time. And when the ball is hiked, the linebackers are then just pulling. They're, they're getting right off their blocks. Just like that. If this is going to help you and you found this very effective, please do leave a like below. 50 likes, I'll release some more tips. I also do, like I said, I have a video coming out tonight. It's a nice little gameplay. I like to though, do these double uploads. It really does help the views on the channel and it increases publicity, which I love because I really want to be something in this community, guys. So yeah, guys, please do leave a like, comment, anything else you want to see. Subscribe if you are new. It helps me out a bunch. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Bye-bye. Uh,